Hi guys! So for this zine that I'm doing, I really just wanted to be honest with you guys and um, I think for all of us, social media is such a big thing. Um, we only show parts of our lives and our best selves and um, you know, we just show what we want others to see. But I kind of just wanted to show you the reality of that a little bit more. Um, for example, I'm going to be, you know, showing you my, my Facetune routine. Um, now for me, Facetune is, it's a weird thing. I've kind of become addicted to it in a weird way. Um, and I know it's probably not the healthiest thing, but I just think if I'm going to use it, um, I want to at least be, be honest because under a lot of my, my photos, I see all, you know, quite a few of you going, oh my God, like, I wish I looked like that. Like, why don't I look like this? Oh my God, your body. And I don't really want you guys to feel that way because half the time, like, I don't even look like that. Like I edit my pictures along with probably millions of other people. So um, I just wanted to show you actually the process of that because like, this is not me saying Facetune is bad and you shouldn't use it and I'm never gonna use it again because I will be using it. Because <laughs> that's my choice and I'm not really ready to, um, Put it away just yet but i think the least i can do is actually just show you the realness of it and my some before and after pictures i owe you that much so um we're gonna do that and i've selected a few so it's a bit it's a bit scary for me but i know this is a good thing and probably quite therapeutic uh so yeah let's do it so this picture I think this is from the Mitz Awards, which was quite fun. This is the original picture, um, and I'm going to show you um, what I did to it. <laughs> now, from first glance, you might go, oh, it doesn't even look that different, but trust me, girl. So what I did first, I zoom in, and I usually just do smooth that, I smooth that, I smooth that. And I've got a ton of makeup on in this picture as well. So, you know, it's already quite quite done. So I've smoothed my face and then what I usually do is I make my lips a bit bigger, more plump, you know, give that pout, give that pout. Honestly, now I'm like talking through this and showing you guys, I'm just like, oh my god, this is so bad. <laughs> Why do I do this? Okay, and then what I usually do, and as I, I'm talking through this, this is literally not just what I've done with this picture, like this usual thing is what I do to all my pictures. So just keep that in mind. So I lift, I lift my eyes a little bit. I mean, I'm pulling my eyes up with this, so it doesn't really. So if you can see before, after, before, after, everything is just slightly lifted. And then what I do is I'll, oh God, I'll just chisel the jaw, chisel the jaw. Now from this angle, you can't really see. I usually have a bit more of like a, not a double chin, but you know, things that I want to erase. But this one's actually not too bad, but I'll just go in anyway, <laughs> make it more chiseled so you can see before, after. Um, and then I will take this, this is, this is the worst part. I'm gonna go in on my waist because right here, I mean, there's nothing wrong with my body here. This is a normal, body and how it should look in a tight dress you know you can see already I'm already being sucked in but because I have been conditioned that that is not you know I just feel like my waist looks big even though that's ridiculous so I always I literally just go in like that and I go in like that if you see before after before after really not very good but hey ho and then here look can you believe I'm a normal girl with normal armpits can't have that better smooth them out so it looks like I've never had armpit hair in my life honestly do a bit of that and then what else and then I'll go and define so I'll define my eyes so basically makes them a bit brighter a bit brighter here bit brighter here. I might define my eyebrows so they pop a little bit more. And then I define my lips just to make them really, really pop. Um, cool, I think that's about it. Here, look, I might just, you know, go in on the, on the boob area. Just 
do a bit of that. I mean, look, this is this is bad. Don't judge me, guys. I'm sorry. Okay, there. And then this is just stupid, but I just kind of like to define like whatever jewelry I'm wearing. I just like to define it so it kind of pops out a little bit more. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Oh, here, look. Usually, what I do as well because I'm quite conscious of my hairline because it gets scraped back so much. I use this tool and I just fill it in a little bit. It's very subtle, but like these little things, I feel like I can't not do them because I, you know, if I, even if you guys probably would never notice that, but in my head, I'm like, no, no, no. There, look, it's only a slight difference. Anyway, so that's the finished product. Um, I'm going to do a before and after. So before, after, before, after. And, you know, I look beautiful in both pictures, but it's a shame that, you know, I would not be comfortable with posting this, this one. Don't know why, but um, I'd much be more, way more comfortable posting this, which is not good, but hey ho, I'm trying. I'm trying to do better, but yeah. That's the first one. I think I first kind of found Facetune was, um, I think I was 18. So I wasn't like really, really young. Um, and it's quite sad really, because before I used Facetune, I was always quite, you know, kind of pretty proud of like my Instagram page. And I thought, you know, like I didn't really edit much. Um, but then one of my friends at the time, I saw that she was using it and I was like, oh, like, what are you doing? And I could see that like, oh my God, you can like make your lips bigger. Like I didn't realize that you could do that from your phone. Like, I just thought that was like in the magazines, you know, you would get Photoshop and it was done all properly. But I was like, oh my God, like you can do this on your phone. So I was like, I want to have a go. And literally ever since then, like I have used it for every single photograph. Um, and it's just very odd because I'll get a picture of myself and there's nothing wrong with it like at all but because I'm so sort of conditioned to think like I must face tune it because it's not perfect um when really it's like what even is perfect anyway um so I'm um, yeah I've been using it since I was about 18 so about four years now um but I think it's just you know I use it and I probably yeah, I am I'm, I probably will carry on using it if I'm going to be honest with you but I think it's just important to to know that there is actually nothing wrong with that before photo and you know just knowing that don't be so quick to compare yourself to other people especially say if you're going to compare yourself to me just if whenever you see a photograph of me on Instagram and you go oh my god like she looks great I wish I looked like that just revert back to this because you can see that I don't even look that half the time. Um, but yes, I just wanted to be be honest, show you my sort of face tune process so you guys can really just see that it's actually, that's not the reality. Um, I hope this was helpful. I sure it was helpful for me. I feel all like, I feel all shaky. I never thought I'd be able to do that, but um, I've done it now. And um, yeah, I just hope that you guys can can watch this and maybe not feel you know be so hard on yourself because i know i am but there's nothing wrong there's nothing wrong with this no face tune uh and so there's nothing wrong with you either <laughs>